The first episode of Mars Guy looked off to the Jezero Delta. The hundredth episode coincides with the start of a second phase of its exploration. Perseverance has now caught up to ingenuity on delta terrain probably created by ancient meandering streams. On this episode of Mars Guy and preview of Mars Lab. Perseverance recently completed what amounts to a mad dash for a Mars rover, driving for seven sols in a row covering nearly 1,200 meters to reach this intriguing terrain after two well-deserved sols off. Here's Mars Guy for scale. As I mentioned in the previous episode, there are curvilinear features in this landscape that may have formed as point bars in a meandering stream or river. The Mississippi River has produced very large point bars in a portion referred to as the Mississippi Delta, the true home of Delta Blues, which is different than the Mississippi River Delta, as I learned from a viewer of the previous episode. Point bars form from sediments deposited by slow-moving water on the inside bend of a river or stream channel. This creates curving deposits as the channel migrates over time. Finding Martian point bar deposits would be a big deal because they could contain fine sediments that are good for preserving microbial organic matter, if Mars ever had life, unlike the gravel, cobbles, and boulders deposited by raging floods on top of the Jezero Delta. So far, the only rover images of the possible point bar deposits are from the engineering cameras, which aren't quite good enough for characterizing their texture. But a small rock less than 100 meters away, observed by Mass Cam Z at the previous stop, is intriguing. It's clearly composed of two different materials, mostly a gravelly sandstone, but with a thin layer of very fine grain material that looks like mudstone eroding off the top. It could also be a mineral vein that's now exposed. Either way, such materials on Earth are known to capture and preserve organic matter. Ingenuity has also been scoping out the rocks in this location, completing three more flights since I last reported on it two weeks ago, all in less than a week. Flight 45 was its third longest at just under 500 meters, and Flight 46, its most recent, was the fifth longest at 445 meters. That one captured some nice views of the curvilinear outcrops, revealing thinly bedded deposits, perhaps indicative of layered mudstones, something Perseverance may have to check out. Ingenuity landed in a spot that's now about 120 meters from Perseverance. Its nav cam captured Ingenuity in this majestic scene with the distant mountains of the Jezero Crater Rim in the background and the rim of the biggest crater on the delta rising up behind it. Masscam Z zoomed in on Ingenuity, capturing the best image of it since the seventh flight in June of 2021. Looks just as good now. On the occasion of this 100th episode, I'm introducing a new feature called Mars Lab, which I'll use to explore aspects of the Martian environment that can't be fully appreciated from just images of the rocks and landscapes. Like what would happen if you tried to take a cup of coffee from the HAB to the pressurized rover on your way to work in the thin atmosphere of Jezero Crater, which is less than 1% the pressure of Earth's atmosphere. That boiling is not because the coffee's hot, but because there's not enough pressure to keep it from converting to vapor. Future segments will do some Martian myth-busting and maybe just blow things up for fun and science. It's not quite Mission 2.0, but maybe it's Mars Guy version 1.5.